Well, you see a lot of wildlife if you go for a hike, but this is not what you'd expect. No, a growing number of tropical snakes are being found in the woods around Metro Vancouver. CTV's Peter Granger tells us why. There's plenty of wildlife to be found in Mount Seymour Provincial Park. Trees full of chickadees, evidence of bears, but nothing like what mountain bikers came upon recently. Four dead tropical snakes, fully grown ball pythons to be exact. The four snakes were found close together by this stream along the Deep Cove Lookout Trail. They were badly decomposed and had obviously been here for quite some time. It is cruel to leave a, a live snake in, in a matter like that. Todd Hunter of BC Conservation is concerned that once again, ball pythons are being dumped in Metro Vancouver parks. On several occasions this year, pythons were found alive on Burnaby Mountain. It is unlawful, uh, invasive uh, to our wildlife populations up there. They can carry uh, different diseases uh, then then uh, also compete for uh, prey. There's a bit of um, a market for these as breeding animals. Veterinarian Adrian Walton says a typical ball python is worth about $10, but when selectively bred, they can produce solid colored snakes. He says this one would have gone for $100,000 a decade ago, a lot cheaper now because there are many profit-driven breeders treating the animals as commodities. Walton's convinced they are dumping snakes in our parks. I suspect what's happening is somebody's been trying to breed these unique patterns and has not been successful and now has these animals that are completely useless and have no value and so they're just trying to get rid of them. So the SPCA, Reptile Rescue and even some veterinarians will take unwanted exotic snakes in hopes of adopting them out to responsible people. Peter Granger, CTV News, Vancouver.